All right. We're live. Good morning, everybody. Hello. How are you doing? Happy Monday. I hope you had a really good weekend. Got a lot of stuff to do today. So we're going to get right after it. If you're in the chat, so good to see you. So good to have you here. And please just say hi. Be good to be good to greet you. McCart is here and GH is here. I think you guys were a little early. Good to see some uh, friendly, familiar faces. Beef up my fellow Ash Hat is here. <laughs> Joseph is here. Good morning. Jaren's here. Quan, good morning, guys. So good to see you. Hopefully you're drinking coffee with me. You got to wake up. I'm waking up. I got a fresh pot of leather on the table. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. If you look at the inset, this is everything we're about to look at, and there's a lot of great stuff. These are things that have been ordered over the weekend. Some notable things that we won't see are the pre-orders that you guys have picked up for the new wallet style, uh, Joe Batters. We were calling this the uh, Capone Fox for a while. I've been wearing this all weekend. I went to a music show last night. I went to a concert and actually really enjoyed using it, like significantly. So went out to a restaurant. Easy to use. I love that. Quick access cards on the outside. They're the same as the Capone. So pretty overwhelming um, uh, amount of orders on the uh, the pre-orders for the the new wallet design. I'm really appreciative of you guys uh, supporting us. Uh, we also had some irregulars that are also on the table behind me in that black box here. <laughs> but we're not going to look at those just yet. There's small consistencies on our irregulars that are often a really good deal. And I try to, I snuck those up. But we try to have an event usually. Uh, so we'll have that coming probably next month, later next month. All right, good to see you guys. Uh, Mr. Chop Top's here. Last night I saw a band called Pinback, who I really enjoy. And they were at Thalia Hall. Let's flip the camera around and then uh, take a look at some wallets. Some really good, really nice stuff that the team is putting out today. You can probably see a significant amount of watch traps. I, I didn't pull um, multiples. So there's several items that uh, people had ordered. A few disparate people have ordered the same product, and I just didn't pull two of them. Yeah, I might need a longer XLR cable for my microphone here. Okay, can't see the chat right now, and we're going to blast through these really quick. I really wanted to start off just again thanking you guys uh, for supporting us by pre-ordering the brand new wallet style here. Joe Batters, used to call it the Capone Fox. I think this was the first color to go, which we actually put the most up of. This is the slate vintage leather. It's beautiful. Uh, and unfortunately, like we're, we had to limit it uh, just because of the time constraints on our team here. We don't have a massive shop. We're a pretty small business. So I only put up a, a small amount of these uh, in the slate vintage. I think these went first, which is great. Uh, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful product. So I'm excited to make those for you guys. We need about... Um, eight weeks still to craft all that let's get into the watch traps because i think it's 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 something we haven't been able to stock for a while that we have now almost sold through our restock uh it's it's concerning that we can't keep up with the demand that you guys have but it's also a very pleasant problem to have uh, it keeps us keeps us going here and uh keeps the team expanding and we're getting paid more and it's all great stuff so i wanted to show you a couple apple watch bands here with two different hardware options. So on my watch band, I'm using a black set of hardware because my face or the case of my Apple watch is more that gray color. That's what we suggest to use um, the black hardware for. Now the silver here, this works really well for the new Apple watch ultra, as well as some of the silver looking Apple watches. So we have the two different variants. Otherwise they're exactly the same. Very nice, comfortable online straps, English Chain Dublin. I also have a 20 millimeter watch band a little bit more traditional style for the non-Apple watch wearer. We have a fixed keeper here as well as the floating the little flo floating keeper there. And also unlined in English and Dublin. This is made out of a little bit of thicker leather. We use a six ounce, it's like a boot weight leather that we use for the uh, for all the watch bands, including the 20 millimeter lug width here. We make these in two different lengths as well. This is the regular length. So this piece with the adjustment holes is 120 millimeters and this with the buckle is 80 millimeters. The shorter version is 105 for the long piece and 15 for the short piece. And you can see the difference right here. So we've got natural shell on the right. This is the regular length, black shell on the left. This is the short length. So for people with smaller wrists, it's pretty, these days I've noticed it's kind of rare to see people that require a shorter length strap. 
But that's the difference right there. It sort of depends also on the size of your watch, we're coming to realize. So you can see both pieces are a little bit different lengths uh, than our regular length here. Most people tend to fit in this. I'd say like 95% of people fit our regular length. Uh, and then if you have a very small wrist, you might want the shorter one. Black shell cordovan with the nice hand stained edges. Natural shell cordovan, great for patina, ages nicely. This really struck me here. This is our keychain belt clip. I know we're starting with the non-wallet accessories, but this was like a really nice color. A lot of times the reverse black shell cordovan looks more like this, darker. And what struck me about the keychain belt clip here is like how nicely that pale green color plays off the antique brass hardware. Uh, really like the look of this guy that we're sending out today also. We've got a few different key fobs. English Tan Dublin is made of the extra thick belt weight leather. You can see the, the difference in thickness. Um, looks like I have one shell piece. So the shells are roughly half the thickness as the uh, belt weight stuff. So in the Navy Chrome Excel and English Tan Dublin, those are much thicker than the shell versions. But they're all very nice. I think the key fobs are good. For me, it's like if I have like a one key for a lock that I rarely use, and I just throw that key in the drawer, I put a certain fob on it and I remember about it. This is another new version of key fob. We call it the key fob loop. It is two pieces of leather that are riveted together. We stain the edges and attach um, antique copper hardware. I have, for many years, I used something like this. I still like the design, although it wasn't intended for it. I would carry my keys on the ring and then put a carabiner on the other end and clip it to my belt. These days I just use the keychain belt clip, which I like very much too. We got a one shot card case going out in black shell cordovan. Still need to finish the edges and polish the shell on this as well as everything else. Like everything we're looking at, it still needs to go through our finishing process. This is the vault key holder in English Tan Dublin. We need to put the uh, hardware in there. Another key fob loop in natural shell beauty. Bright and shiny shell cordovan. That's what a lot of people are, are looking for. That's shell cordovan items from us, including the wallets. So we've got a few different special pieces. And speaking of tough to keep in stock, I think all the shell foxes that we're about to look at are either just sold out or barely any left. So black shell cordovan on the outside with the reverse interior. These are things that we think we just restocked like two weeks ago. And it's incredibly popular, it seems. So it's tough for us to keep these available, but I think it's because of the look. We still need to do the like finishing on the edges of this guy. Every one of these is absolutely beautiful, but totally unique. So you're never going to find two pieces of reverse shell cordovan that are exactly the same. Maybe I'll be able to demonstrate that. Maybe not. I've only pulled one of each, so probably not. This is another one that we do still have some left of. This is a 100% color number eight shell cordovan jaw of the fox. We do that beautiful hand stained and waxed and burnished edge. And the color of the edge perfectly matches the shell. It's because we're buying and using the uh, same exact stains and the same exact blend that Horwing uses to finish the shells. So those are coming out beautifully as you can see. Here's another one <laughs> that's really different. I think there's one of these left. This is an all reverse color eight shell cordovan jaw of the fox which is also tough for us to uh, market because each one is unique. So having one photo, you're never gonna see, you're never gonna receive the one that you see in the photo unless we make like a special private stock one-off thing. So those are those are special. I think those are about gone too. Now this is the one I'm really sad that we're now sold out on. I love the look of the natural shell Johnny the Foxes, especially with the reverse interior. Something magical about these and uh, really, Really pleased with the uh, quality the team's putting out. You can see all the stitching is perfect. We've only started on the edge work here. Uh, so we've just sanded it down. Still need to bevel and then do a little bit of waxing and burnishing on this. But the, the work is really, really well done. Here's a Johnny of the Fox that's become very popular. I think it's just because it's so funky. Black Dublin on the outside with teal Latigo on the inside. We've got an incredible character on the outside of this Johnny of the Fox. Oh, I think every day we sell many of these, which is still like we would have never guessed that i just started making him 10 years ago because i thought it was cool and funky and uh people just kept liking it I, <laughs> if you told me hey you should check out this black and teal wallet i'd be like that sounds weird and gross but i think it's just different which is why people keep picking it up here's another 100 percent shell cordovan wallet to the giant the fox 100 black we have black stained edges on this guy in the same way that we do 
the color eight stained edges. Bunch more stuff to get through here. You know what? Before we get to the more wallets, let me show you some belts. I love our belts. I was actually uh, admiring how nice the uh, natural Chrome Excel heavyweights that we've been receiving from Horween look. It's really beautiful leather that they're putting out. Then I shouldn't be surprised because they've been doing it for more than a century. So we've got a natural Chrome Excel in 32. We've got a lot of other belts that you don't see here on the table. So if you don't see yours, don't be alarmed. Uh, I just tried to pick a couple special ones here. So we've got natural Chrome Excel, brown Chrome Excel, also very, very beautiful. You see our little tag here. That's to remind me to make this into a size 34. You can see our belts are all unlined. So you get that really comfort, like just comfortable because there's not extra stuff to it to dig into your body, especially in something like Chrome Excel where it's so full of waxes and oils, like just really molds around to your body and there's nothing poking at you. Same thing on the Dublin, although the Dublin has a little bit more of a firm temper. Uh, however, the grain character is completely different, much more intense character on the Dublin and on the heavyweight Dublin we tend to see some of these like tiger stripes these are uh in the tannery we would call it fat wrinkles and draw uh, but it's basically you know as the animal gets a thicker hide you tend to see more of these wrinkles I tend to think they're very beautiful uh for a boot maker that's making a hundred thousand of the same boot it's pretty hard to work with so they tend to not prefer it I like it all right we got a couple bugs we're in this is our Classic traditional card slot Bugs Moran in the brand new brown cypress leather. And this is the vertical version in the classic color eight shell cordovan. Same hand sand edges on here. Really great form factor for the Bugs Moran. I love the size of that. It's about the size of a deck of cards if you're trying to get a sense of it. Really good for front pocket. Here's some Capone money clips. So we can get front pocket. Also great for your front pocket. You'll notice that this is the same dimensions as the new wallet, but the new guy. Joe Batters has the bill slot with one side, like sort of stitched a little bit lower. On the Capone Money Clip, we slide a piece of metal. It's a, a little clip that slides into that little section and then you clip your money on the inside and it kind of flaps around in the wind. <laughs> so we got Royal Blue Cypress on the Capone, English Chan Dublin on the Capone going out today. A couple Tony the Ants, which is great to see. Natural Shell Cordovan is the best color for patina in my mind, my experience. As well, if you want to see what that looks like, go to the homepage of our website and look at the day one, day 1000 photo. Here's blue cypress also on the Tony the Ant. Beautiful struck through mill dyed, drum dyed leather. So you get the cross section that's also blue. Still need to finish the edges on that. But once that's filled in, it comes really bright and shiny, very smooth. It's a really nice look. Sort of like this here. Tony the Ant in English Tan Dublin. Love English Tan Dublin. And you can see the edges sort of look like a stained piece of wood. It's really, really nice. Uh, we got some Saphir Cordovan cream going up. Surprised to see no Tanner's Blend or Venetian Shoe Cream, but there were a few people that are picking up some Saphir Cordovan cream, which is great to see. This is the product we use on every Shoal Cordovan wallet before we ship it out. So natural Shoal Cordovan Fat Herbie here. This is one of the ones that we still need to apply that Saphir to. Beautiful leather, really nice uh, luster on all the shells. You can see very much like a mirror-like shine. But I also really admire or like appreciate the dramatic shift of color. So as you can see, like it almost looks like there's a stripe in there that disappears at certain angles. That's just because the fibers are going in a certain direction. And at one angle, it looks light. And if you spin this around or tilt it, where's the, there, the other angles, it looks dark. It's pretty weird just to, to spin it around and see the color change. Very beautiful. Love, love the natural shells. Of all the shells. Here's another brown cypress wallet, Fat Herbie this time. Really intense grain character on the brown cypress, which is much different than the Cordovan. Here's the English Tan Dublin. Also great grain character on here. Uh, the English Tan is our most popular color. Here's a private sock piece. I think there might be one of these left. This is the Scotch grain Chrome Excel that's dead stock that we've been sitting on for again a decade. And the Chrome Excel here, as it's sat, it's just become better and better. And it's very, very dense. It's got, but it also has this nice roundness to the feel. And that's something that I find to be unique about combination tanned or vegetable tanned leathers sometimes. When it's done right, you can have this like firm leather that holds its shape. As you can see that it's not flopping over. But if I grab it, it has like a softness to it. So it's this really interesting contrast in feel and temper 
like it is firm but it feels soft very very interesting i don't think you find that on anything other than a combination tanned leather meaning it's chrome tanned and then vegetable retanned here's our new passport holder this is the traveler passport holder let's see suddenly to polish this guy up color hl cordovan the traveler passport holder is slightly taller than our normal fat herbie which i can demonstrate there see it's just like a tiny bit taller and we did that so you can fit your passport more easily on the inside of this slot right here. It slides in perfectly there. Credit cards on the left. And then the best part about the Traveler is the bill slot in the back is the same as the Herbie. We can fit every paper currency in the world into this slot. So it's great for traveling around. And then we have our older passport holders, which we're now calling the passport field notes holder, which is originally how it was designed as a field notes and passport holder um, because there are the two slots. So you can put your passport on one side. You could put your kid's passport on the other side or your wife or your husband on the other side you can hold two passports <laughs> you actually put multiple in each slots if you really wanted i don't necessarily recommend that uh, but it also fits uh field notes in there so beautiful piece of english in dublin here this is one of our larger pattern pieces so you get to see the full context of all that leather which is very nice and the last wallet in natural shell Passport field notes again, natural show cordovan. Great color shift on this leather. Beautiful. And then the inside. Oh, excuse me, more natural shell. Maybe I'm drinking too much coffee. There, I think there might. I could. I should have checked before. I think there might be a couple of the new Joe batters available uh, to pre-order. I'm not sure if. I think this is this is the whiskey i think that's sold out unsure i think the only ones left are maybe black and color eight this is cigar beautiful this is color eight i think we might have some of these available for pre-order also and i remember uh when i was taking photos of this guy some of the nicest color hl i've ever seen it must be like a more recent batch so we buy them in like big lots from horween or big orders and then get delivered all at once and it takes us a while to to get through it all. So the next time we see a fresh batch of that color, it could be you know a year or two. Here's the intense blue. I should have talked about this a little bit more. It's a darker version of blue. In this camera right now, it's appearing lighter than it probably is in person. It's a very dark navy blue, which is much different than the denim blue shell cordovan. I think we have a couple of these black shell cordovan uh, Joe Batters also available. I think, maybe. We might have some of these. I think we're going to make extras of the raw natural. So this is raw natural. And then the last one, I don't think there's any of these available either, but the Color 8 Dublin. Something we should, we originally planned to stock all of our items in Color 8 Dublin. It just didn't seem like people picked it up as much as the other colors. So we've de-emphasized it, but the leather sure is nice. Really, <laughs> I think when we got this, and I mentioned it in the video when we got it, some of the nicest Dublin I've, I've seen. Really great feel. And like that same sort of like roundness to the feel where it's firm and soft at the same time. But that Dublin has the smooth wax finish on the surface. So it's got these like layers of characteristics that are all a little bit different that I really like. All right, let's bring it back over and see what you guys are saying. So good to have you here. Oh, is there somebody named Phil in the chat? Oh my goodness. Okay, we did it. We went through the stuff. Man, I got a lot of work to do today. So I'm gonna try to uh, skim through as quickly as possible here. Uh, GWAPS Garcia, good to see you. Uh, who did you see, Phil? Oh yeah, I saw Pinback last night. I've liked Pinback. The last time I saw them was when I was living in California going to college, so it's been a long time. And if I'm honest, it wasn't that great last night. They They're like there's two dudes they both sing and play guitar and bass each of them so it's sort of like this duo and one half of the duo was sick and wasn't there so it was like some filling guy that like it was his first <laughs> poor guy his first uh time playing it it's like the guy i wanted to see was the guy that was sick so it was kind of a bummer but i had a great time with my wife we great food just uh and a great evening it was nice uh, good morning, Tyler. Tyler, I just saw two orders for you that we're going to ship UPS per your request. And uh, I just pulled your wallets. 
I was looking at your watch strap, I think you got too. Looking good, man. I'm excited to get that for you. Oh, Doriet, uh, Doriet, good morning. You're watching from New Jersey for the first time. We're in Chicago here, so it's so great to, uh, to have you from across the country. How cool is that? A lot of times we get people here that are from around the world, and it's like, I'm always so, uh, I guess surprised, I shouldn't be surprised anymore because it's been happening for years with the internet connecting people, but uh, I'm always just like so happy of how the internet and like leather can bring a bunch of nerds together. <laughs> mm. uh, Hardware is different, Stephen Chia. Um, oh, the one on my watch is, um, we don't use this hardware anymore. The ones on the table, we are shipping. Um, so if that, maybe that answers your question, but the one on my, my wrist is not, th this is an irregular strap and I, I guess it's feeling a little cheap and I just wanted to use something that we didn't tend to run out of. <laughs> we tend to run out of everything. So I just use something extra. Um, G17 would love a larger key ring on the key loops. We could do that. Um, we could use the same one, the same hardware or the same key ring that we use on the um, the keychain belt clip. I was gonna, almost called it the key buddy. We can do different key rings for that. Um, but that have to be by request. Those split key rings that we use for the key buddy are really expensive. Um, so we're trying to make like a, a cord of in product that wasn't expensive so people could experience it and just wear it. Um, so that something that we don't normally do is like think about price, but that the key fobs are something, something that we did think about. It's like, how do we even make, like, it's either we didn't make them at all or offer you something. Um, so that's how we approach the key fob and the key fob loop. And uh, I felt like people, it almost functions as like a functional swatch. Like you can check out the leather before you, you decide to spend a bunch of money on a wallet. Um, Leland says, looking forward to my first Ashland order, the color eight Joe batters. You picked a good color. It's really nice. It was hard to sign in between the vintage slate and color eight. I agree. Big price difference there, right? I was a little bit worried about launching it in the, in the different, um, I was just honestly worried about launching it in general, just because it's so different. And I think it's a tough pill to swallow. Like I've never tried this wallet before. Why don't you spend hundreds of dollars and try it out for the first time? That seems like a tough pill. So we try to make some additional non cordovan versions that are more than half the price or less than half the price to uh, get people to try it out. Then, now, keep in mind that this is a product we've been making for a couple of years now, but we just never released it as a pre-order or production. And we were going back through correspondence. I've been asking people directly here. Everybody seems to really like it. So I hope you do too, Leland. And uh, for your first Ashland wallet, that's that's surprising too because we we actually think that there's a progression of customers that we have, and they tend to start with like the the classics, like the Johnny the Fox, and then and then go funky from there. And I feel like the Joe Batters being new and very different is like pretty funky. So people tend to like get in the water with like a English Tan Fox or like a Frank the Enforcer. And then they're like, man, this leather is great. Let me get something else. And uh, people go crazy, which is, that's that's the goal, just to share the leather. So it is funny to see that be your first one, Leland, but I think you're gonna like it. And uh, maybe maybe this will be the new like standard in wallets, who knows? Black and color eight are still in stock. All right, cool. My channel needs a fat Herbie. I love fat Herbie. I still like it. You know, every time I've worn a Capone or this new variant on the Capone, Joe Batters, I'm always impressed with the exterior bill slots and how easy that is. Because, you know, if you're out on a date night, you don't need your health insurance card. Or honestly, last night, places don't even take cash for a couple places we went. And like all the stuff on the inside I don't really need. So I'm kind of thinking like I might want to consider like a date night wallet, you know, like something that's not even, this is all my stuff. So maybe just like a credit card and a couple bills and my driver's license. Actually, I did need my ID to get a wristband to get a beer. 
Uh, so I think th that this Capone Fox that we're now calling Joe Batters is a good like date night wallet. Or at least it was in my experience last night. Herbie is also great, but it's big. So I don't know. I, I do like the Herbie, but I'm, I'm thinking of having like my normal carry and then like a date night one. <laughs> as nerdy as that is. Uh, had to go with the raw nacho. PRP2 knows the inside joke. Yeah, the raw natural is awesome, man. And the, you nailed it. The raw natural is the most potential to develop develop a great patina. Happy Monday, Matt. Good to see you, buddy. Rust Bucket's here. How's it hanging? It's great. We're back at it. It's cold as hell in Chicago. 46 degrees. We we got totally teased with like 80 plus degree weather. And I really noticed a change. And my wife and I were talking about it last night. I really noticed a change in my behavior as the weather changes it become warmer is I go I'm outside walking around all the time and it's just like this five months of cold weather that we have in Chicago is kind of getting maybe I'm just an old bastard now but it's like kind of getting to me so I really wanted the 80 degrees back what a tease Ron Reyes good morning good to see you. is the scotch green chrome excel the same type as le of leather founds in footballs and basketballs that's a really good question Ron and no, it's not. It, it. I can see why you would say that. But let me sort of clarify as, as simply as I can. Uh, a, a tannery produces many types of, of leather tannages. And essentially a tannage is what are the th components that you're putting and filling into the fibers of the skins? So the tannage of Chrome Excel is specifically different than the tannage of football. Chrome Excel has more oil and wax in it. And the football is a little bit drier, has more uh, tree barks. It's like more, more like wood and less like oil. Um, they're very different tempers. Football is very firm. And the reason the football is a little bit more firm and the chrome excel is a little bit more soft, football has to take that impression, be turned inside out into a football with a tremendous amount of force, and then inflated with the bladder inside. So that one of the challenges in making football leather is having that texture stay on the ball. So Horween has been making this leather for decades uh in that way and it has a different texture as well and and they apply that texture in a process called debossing or embossing the textures on the footballs are more circular where the texture on the scotch grain are like little blobs they're not as, as circular now the chrome excel is also tanned in that specific way um to be more functional for footwear so it's uh two different functions or there are many different functions for you why, why you'd want a piece of leather, and that's why Horween has all these different tanges. They did the same thing on the Chrome Excel, but press the Scotch grain, which is more of like a traditional, like Scottish, like golf shoe looking thing. It's got like a little bit more of a formal aesthetic um, that I ascribe to it in my in my mind. So hopefully that clarifies. They're different. I can see why you'd say they're pretty similar. You can make a Chrome Excel football, but what the pros use and the college athletes use is totally different leather than, than what we're using on those Scotch grains. There's a specific print called football. And a fun story, if you look at a pro ball, all of them are made by Wilson and Horween hides little Wilson W logos in the embossing pattern. So if you get, get your hands on a pro ball ever, take a look at it. It's pretty fun to like... Seek, it's like a where's Waldo for the W. <laughs> Did I just reveal how old I am by giving a where's Waldo reference? <laughs> uh, Matt says, what I really like about my Astro Natural Cordovan Apple Watch Band is the hardware from Nomad. It's a really good match for the Ultra. Good to hear it, man. And uh, yeah, we like Nomad. I've known them for years, a decade too. Kendall says, hey, Phil, I saw some new Dublin colors available on AA Crack. Are you familiar with what colors such as Autumn Maple? No. Mocha Bisque? Yes. Beautiful. Are they something new coming out for me? Mocha Bisque, I remember we've done for a long time. We used to do that color for Adidas when I was working there. That's a really nice color. It's sort of like, sort of like English tan, but it's got like a little bit more brown to it. It's less orange and more brown, but it's got like a lighter, like vibrant brown. And I've never heard of the, of the other color. Uh, autumn maple not familiar with that i haven't been working there since so it's almost been four years i've been an unemployed from uh, by the tannery i i quit to make to be clear but still on very good terms the bittersweet that i left 
quit right before a pandemic and decided to go hard on my small business. That was a great idea, right? Paul says, I ordered the long wallet. Can't wait to add that to your collection. Oh, do you want to see your wallet, Paul? Maybe we'll end with that. I'll, I'll remember. Joseph says, uh, any denim blue shell in stock? Yes, we have that. Joseph, hit Matt an email, info at ashlandleather.com. Regarding shell belts, is there a difference between the pre-order? Nope, they're all the same, Matt. Uh, Phil, uh, Sun's Moon Leather says, hey, Phil, do you have any recommendations for product to use over dye, natural veg tan or veg decor effect? Uh, I, I like Wicket and Craig's veg a lot. If you want to get um, something to dye yourself from Horween, I would suggest something like Natural Essex is nice. They also have horsehide strips that we use on the backs of our shell cordovan belts. The strips are challenging because the, the thicknesses and selections are all over the place. But you know, Matt, uh, excuse me, Sun Moon Leather, the best thing to do is um, I would contact Maverick Leather or Tannery Row and just tell them what you're trying to do. And they are the, they're the guys. But if it was me, I'd check out Wicket. I like their veg a lot. Um, Crispy says you picked up one of the old stock Pebble Chrome XL Herbies last week. I look forward to, to receiving it because I exclusively use my Frank. Ah, that's going to be a big change, Crispy. And I think, I hope that you like the Herbie. Do I make leather suspenders? No. All right, Paul, we're going to show you your long wallet. I was, I'll tell you the story. Hold on a sec. You guys want to see something extra special? I don't need headphones. Hopefully you can still hear me. That box I just put on the table, Red Cha, is uh, one of my favorite things that we've ever done. And what's incredible about it is it was sent back to us <laughs> two years later, which we were happy to take it back because it's awesome. You can see photos of this one on the uh, private stock page right now. It's a long wallet, for, and it's a 10-year anniversary long wallet. Beautiful. Let me show you. And then, then I got to go. We got to go fill some orders for you guys. Really appreciate you guys. Sort. Oh, I got to thank everybody. But I really appreciate you guys supporting us. Okay. This is how we ship all our wallets, by the way. The long wallet here is a little bit longer. <laughs> than our normal wallets so we use a little bit of a larger box and we do this little wax stamp seal on the lids here's the wallet here we also ship it in cloth bag and then we have uh, for the cordovan stuff we do a letterpress tag for the non-cordovan stuff uh, those letterpress tags are like a dollar so we stopped using them for the the chrome excel and dublin stuff just because we and also the letterpress person couldn't make them fast enough uh, so there's a different tag but check this out psychedelic shell and I think this is some of the first psychedelic that was ever made. Now, this wallet, you'll notice, and the reason I didn't want to show it was because of this. We will not do this for you. So if you ask for an, a 10-year Ashland stamp, we will not do that. We will not make it. So don't ask. <laughs> I've had people that say they want it. This is just for a special event. You know, we wanted to celebrate our 10th anniversary, which was in 2021. Uh, Math. <laughs> and uh, we did this like fun X logo to play off our normal, you know, Ashland logo that is that. Uh, so the X is the 10th anniversary one. Uh, we made a bunch of private stock and we did like a different thing every week for a couple weeks. And this, I think, was around the first time that Skip Horween was making what we're now calling psychedelic shell. He was just playing around with different looks. This is one of the pieces that he came up with. So when you get to see this huge context on a long wall like this, it makes the psychedelic extra special um, because you get to see more of it. If, it. if this was like a little key fob, it, it would be a little bit less exciting, but we get to see so much here. It's beautiful. And then the inside, we've got more psychedelic shell on, on this side with the X stamp. And then we have reverse psychedelic on this side. So it's incredible. The other two things that are special so it looks like we were able to cut the ink stamp into the center and then the measuring machine stamp here 
like perfectly uh, <laughs> against the the ten year anniversary stamp on the other side. So this this was uh, just a really great great looking wallet. It looks like we might have done this. Yeah, a little hand stained edges. This might be some of the first hand staining of the edges that we did too, because that's relatively new. So Paul, congratulations! If that's your wallet, um, I think it might be you. Congrats, man! You got a really, really unique piece. And I, you know, obviously every psychedelic piece is different. Um, so we won't be able to do them again. But like that psychedelic, it's really, really cool. I think you're gonna be happy with it. And if you're not, let me know. We we can take it back. Um. So I'm just going to skim the questions, see if we can answer anything quickly. But I'm so glad you guys are here. Oh, you got the 1940s Herbie. Oh, my God, John. That's... I keep this next to my desk because I love it so much. I have the 1940s calf in the blonde color just chilling. <laughs> just looking at it. Uh, that's awesome that you got a, the Herbie in that. Sean said you shouldn't have waited so long. Didn't think it would be. Uh, it's perfect. It's if you're not scared of a back pocket wallet, I can't suggest the Herbie enough. It's perfect. Unless you were in like super tight pants or don't have big pockets, I think the Herbie's the way to go. All right, let me let me just quickly try to thank as many people as I can, and there's a couple hundred here, so we're gonna go quick. Um, so if if you hear your name here, you probably saw. Uh, wallet or belt or watch strap unless it was a pre-order or made to order uh, just now in the in the live stream here so thanks so much to john h brian m jeremy robert h robert s stephen h william c anthony c octavio b nishant p yoshiki n zia m alfonso daniel m megan e edwin b gary m sydney s judith r Erz y tyler p who's in the chat Wesley G, Thomas F, Zachary G, Sebastian T, Tyler P again, Nitin B, Michael M, Joseph R, John R, Austin D, uh, Gunawan W, Luis B, Michael T, Nicholas N, Joe M, Muhammad A, Ryan R, Luis A, Will W, Newton C, Michael K, G, Gregory W, Chad M, Jeffrey S, Benjamin C, Gustavo S, Gary W, Jamie Hall, Glenn A, Man, you guys are the greatest. Uh, Dan G, Joshua P, Ryan H, Sean W, Charles F, Adam D, Rich K, Mark E, Josh K, Michael A, Fritjof T, Nicole P, Paul H, Waylon M, David L, Raphael F, Bryce F, Anthony L, Gary L, Andrew P, Maurizio T, Kevin K, Stephanie M, Hunter S, Wyatt P, Kevin N, David J, Neil D, Stephen C, Scott C, Chris T, Wei T, Jeremy B, Peter, Sin Siu Ho, uh, H, Adam E, Scott W, Richard H, Stephen B, Moses R, Price C, Pedro V, Matthew M, Maximilian N, Sean P, Peter P, Scott E, Mike H, Alexander J, do my best to, to do the pronunciations. I'm sure I'm embarrassing myself. John C, Alan P, Jack L, Brandon S, Mark S, Song Y, Sean G, Justin V, Linda M, Wes M, Benjamin S, Eddie L, Nima E, Simon K, Ruben R, Larry D. Oh man, if Larry David bought a wallet for me, I'd be so happy. Benjamin S, Blas M, Joseph L, Leland P. Joseph H, I think, yeah, never mind. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Eric S, <laughs> Bruce B, Jesse R, Jason B, Jerry G, Bruce A, John J, Robert K, Pascal F, Christine C, Catherine E, Michael C, Saad A, Eric P, Josh I, Alex B, Way Q, Viral P, Paul H, uh, there's Paul in the chat, I think. Tucker L, Robert M, Jonathan L, Richard S, and Cesar O. Thank you guys so much. Uh, really important for me to thank everybody personally. That's That was one of the main reasons to do these live streams. Um, just wanted to let you guys know how much 
we appreciate your support and we appreciate you guys. And I appreciate you being here for the live chat. Try to begin here uh, tomorrow. Say hi to me. We'll look at some more leather goods. We've got plenty of great stuff coming. All right. Hope you guys have a really great